despite skepticism from the big regulatory powers that be, Wall Street's enthusiasm for crypto is heating up. Bob Pisani is breaking it down from the Sandler O'Neill Global Exchange Conference here in New York City. Hi, Bob. Hello, Melissa. SEC Chair Jay Clayton spoke to us exclusively today at the Sandler O'Neill Conference. He made it clear that he supported the development of blockchain technology and even said it could be especially beneficial to the securities industry. I think blockchain technology has tremendous promise for the securities industry, eliminating costs. I mean, the, the cost of verification in the securities industry, incredibly high. If we can, if we can make that more efficient, terrific. But the crypto community is eagerly waiting for clarification from the SEC on three important issues. First, whether ICOs, initial coin offerings, are securities and hence regulated by the SEC. Second, whether altcoins like Ether and Ripple are securities. And finally, what criteria must be met for the SEC to approve Bitcoin ETFs? We've been waiting for a couple of years about this. Clayton declined to comment on how the SEC would rule on these issues, but he made it clear that the industry would have to conform to existing rules and regulations regarding the sales of securities. I understand that there's a great deal of discussion about these crypto assets, but again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna relax our rules based on the level of discussion. We need to know that the pricing is certain. We need to know that the assets are there. We need to know that it's going to function as our retail investors would expect those products to function. Finally, over the last few months, major Wall Street firms have been getting in on the crypto action. Goldman Sachs is set to launch its own Bitcoin trading operation, and reports are out just today that Fidelity is now looking to bulk up on hiring personnel for crypto projects and possibly build its own digital asset exchange. These steps will likely lend added credibility to the realm of crypto. Now, coming up very soon, don't go away, Brett Redfern. The head of trading and markets at the SEC is going to be with us. This will be his first interview exclusively on CNBC. Melissa, back to you. Yeah. So the markets haven't really moved from this news. Uh, this is actually a little bit older, uh, two days ago. Um, so what's going on? Why, <clears throat> why hasn't there been activity or action in the market? I don't know. And once again, uh, I, I think it's not a great idea as an investor to think of things in the short term, but the long term outlook for cryptos looks really good. And um, although there was a lot of wishy washy stuff, and this is kind of what started the bear market, was that, you know, we obviously had that crazy run up. In fact, I'll just change it to the one year. So we obviously had the crazy growth right up here, and this bear market was really kind of spurred by the negative news of regulation and crackdown and that's what kind of pushed prices down and we did kind of hit a triple bottom right here and then we did hit our all-time low in April down here and now we've kind of flatlined and uh, you know my, my, my opinion is that I mean short term there could be even better buying opportunities and I'm preparing myself that it, you know, I have orders ready to go if prices fall. But um, as a long-term investor, I think the outlook looks really good. And if I was buying today uh, in June, June 8th, uh, I think if I was looking at my crypto portfolio in June of 2019, it's going to look really, really solid. But let me know your thoughts, what you guys think about this regulation and Wall Street news. And I will talk to you guys soon.